ground level access point to the original subterranean mummy structure. Research objects from the lower levels are analyzed and studied for in this facility. Huh. Seems like a very fine place, isn't it? But yeah, welcome everyone back to Doom 3. Which, uh, <laughs> splendid. Which, uh... Oh, this looks fun. Which, uh... I mean, we did fall off like a, like a tank guardian. Uh, some kind of leaking. Gotta get my beautiful... Oh, splendid! A Hell Knight! That's what I want to want. Oh, missed me! Yes, you never miss, huh? Oh, great. Another Wraith. I love this gun so much. Anyway, where was I? Uh, we need to get security clearance for all the safety areas, which without security clearance. Fair enough. We need to get a warning as well. Say your pardon. Yeah, the zombie. 
worry now for the next something over here, but some reason or reason so much in every read it. Here it is. Richard Davis. This is the scientific journal of Dr. Richard Davis, dated August 8, 2145. We've just broken through to a new chamber, and I think I've found the map alluded to on one of the tablets. The artifact is constructed into the ceiling, and it is a magnificent find. It appears to be made of some crystalline material, and even after all this time, it's still emitting a soft glow. The markings on it were strangely familiar when I first observed it, and after digitizing it and analyzing it, I'm certain this is a map of our solar system. It seems to show a connection between Mars and Earth. My current working theory is that our survivors use the teleportation technology to escape to Earth. The ramifications of this are well known. This may end up proving that we are actually descendants of this race, and what we are exploring is our own history. I'm going to report my findings as soon as we finish the excavation, and they should show up in corporate within a few days. These are truly exciting times. Log out. I would imagine. I'm gonna get the lab, I'm gonna find the uh oh, that's a security Discovery and analysis. The UAC is proud to showcase the latest findings on four unique and fascinating artifacts. These tablets were originally discovered in the dig site under what has become known as Site 3. Subsequent examination of the surrounding area and carbon dating of the tablets brought you this that the tablets belong to a civilization that existed millennia ago and were placed in a holy burial ground of some sort. Utilizing the best minds in linguistics and UAC proprietary pattern recognition software, the tablets were exhaustively examined. What we found was fantastic. The first tablet provided us with a wealth of scientific data, specifically detailing the mathematical concepts of oh, the We don't even know this is Are you sure Shit. you killed him? What? You have the soul cube? Just like in the carvings I've been researching. If I'm correct, that cube is our only chance to stop this. No time to explain now. You need to get to the caverns quickly. Take my PDA. It's right there on the desk. Thank you. It's got security codes for the area and my research logs on it. It'll help. Why, thank I can't go with you. I need to finish my work here. Good luck. Why, thank you. Pierce Rogers. And I'm going to be there even as well.
This is Dr. Pierce Rogers, lead archaeologist currently stationed on Mars. As the preliminary reports have suggested, we have made some amazing discoveries here on Mars. Life on Mars has long been theorized, but we never imagined anything like this. The initial chamber was discovered in 2115. It leads into what is now known as Site 1. Site 1 is the largest of the sites, and we are still actively working there. It is made up of a series of chambers and connecting tunnels, all of which are covered in glyphs and symbols. Using the UAC pattern processor, we have finally been able to understand some of the glyphs, and from them, here is what we have learned. The ancient people looked like us, at least to the extent that they were bipedal and were similar in shape and size. Their level of technology was astounding. For instance, the glyphs at each site were carved into the rock by some sort of machine and each one is precisely cut from the stone. It far exceeds the precision of anything we can do. They had a social structure that seemed very aristocratic, with a lot of emphasis on social stature and structure. Site 2 is a much smaller set of chambers, mostly containing burial sites, temples, and various amounts of individual artifacts. This site has been photographed and cleared out, and all material is back on Earth for study and review. Side 3 produced our prize artifact, what we call the Soul Cube. If you have read or seen the other material, you probably know that this once grand civilization was attacked by some unknown force. And if we can believe what is written in stone, they sacrificed most of their society to drive the invaders back. There are additional reports filed on the Soul Cube with Central Administration. We also recovered several other device-type artifacts. They are not as ornate as the Soul Cube, but each appears unique. We are still learning how to interpret all of the glyphs, and hopefully, once we have that completed, the science teams can provide more detailed information on their technology. Now, these are truly unique and special times for archaeologists. Well, we have got some more lore in the Doom Slayer. created the soul cube and used it to stop the demons, to drive them back to hell. I don't know how, but that must be the answer. That is why that artifact was left behind, left for someone to find if something like that ever happens again. I can't reach Delta from here. I won't make it. I truly hope and pray someone finds the soul cube. And it helps. Oh, never let it help us. as soft as I am, well, not really by choice, but I don't know.
Alrighty. The door's sealed and shut while the crane just keeps hammering it. Things are looking autistic. Location of their Mars base. While all the research has been moved in newer structures, the aging facilities are in the I can hear the Fortnite players.